So Rochester, not a team that you guys see often. Uh, just from a pre-scout, what do you uh, have to do to be successful there? Well, they've obviously they're going. They've had a bit of a change with uh, Ron Rolston getting the job in in Buffalo, but. You know, Luke Adam, they got some good, uh, a lot of activity from their back end um, as far as production, and they play well. They've always played well in that building. So, again, I, I think uh, when you s come up on a team that you haven't seen in a while, it's kind of a rarity in the schedule right now, but there will be a few more. Um, we haven't seen them in, in quite a while. Um, it's, it's, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll look at their systems, but again, it's more about uh, playing to our strengths and trying to. Uh, establish our game and, and, and you know be on our toes and dictate the play that's the reason we've had some success here and we're gonna have to continue to do it in, in a tough building on Friday do you approach uh, weekends kind of three game sets where all right if you don't win the first one we need to win the second one we need to win Sunday well I think I just competitively you look at that I mean I, I feel as a coach and even I, I think as players you get that first one under your belt it gives you a, a little bit of breathing room and maybe takes the pressure uh, off of each game I, I thought even this past weekend we lost the first one there was a sense of urgency Saturday but then Sunday you know you, you want to finish the weekend above 500 for the weekend and, and get your your two out of three games and, and four out of six points and um, I think if you don't win that first one it has a tendency to put a little more stress on, uh, and, and uh, pressure on the situation so I think having uh, and it may not always be a win but having a good strong game Friday is the key to uh, potentially having a good weekend.